Hi everyone, it's Christy with Paper Hoarder Disorder, and I have a new little album to show you. Uh, this is one that um, I am, I've almost finished the pattern on. Uh, it only needs a, a, a couple more days of work, um, so it should be ready next week. And this is actually the album I did in the decorating videos. And with this, this is my eclectic one that I actually designed last year using Marion Smith's um, a combination of her Nirvana and Motley uh, paper lines, a combination of those two. Uh, and it was an album that said family up at the top. But I wanted to show uh, the versatility of the pattern and use it with this um, uh, Simple Story Say Cheese paper, and uh, which now they have Say Cheese too, and I would like to do one out of that too. Uh, but what was neat about this is I made this one out of the... Um, Hobby Lobby paper pad and so you can actually get two albums out of that 148 pack pad and you can even get that um, if, if you have a coupon and you have a Hobby Lobby near you you can get that you know with a coupon and get it on sale so uh, on this one I use some chipboard elements on here and so this is a Sizzix die and I cut it out of chipboard and also out of this black glitter POW paper and it does not show nearly as shiny as it is it's really amazing stuff and the best part about it is it doesn't shed it cuts great you can even put it into your Cricut or your Cameo without ruining your machine which uh, most glitters cannot say that <laughs> and so over here we have a, a I'm sure a lot of you recognize this this is a, a Tim Holtz die and I made him interactive and he's cut out on chipboard and then again out of the pattern paper and of course I had to make it interactive because it's Disney. Disney it has to be animated so over here, I just used some simple uh, ribbon, some simple satin ribbon with some um, uh, silver foil dot. I have not found just the right charm to go on here. Uh, I tried to do a bow, but it was just not what I was looking for. So I'm just kind of holding off on this one until I find the right charm. Now I have some ears down here super cute and I will probably add some uh, crystal 3d lacquer to the magic part right here to the lettering and of course you can put photos in here super cute stuff oh let me show you the back cover too so back here we have that same craft which is just a really nice addition uh, simple stories did a great great job with this and then we have this little it's almost like a piping uh, effect that we have here and I uh, this is new uh, my one of my new favorite things to do now and um, so in here we have I've created a pocket and in here we have just a tag here this paper has because simple stories does a very kind of project lifestyle um, with all just tons and tons of cut aparts uh, I have lots and lots of booklets in here so all of these are booklets except for the front covers so I don't need to open up all of these but they're all booklets in here so we can just really maximize uh, the the amount of pictures and journaling that we can do and and being Disney we definitely need uh, lots of room for pictures and journaling so over here I wanted to show you this too so if you see up here you see these little mouse ears coming out of the top here they're so stinking cute those little tabs it really adds to the album to have those up there so I will just kind of uh, pull these out just a little bit I don't want to take them all the way out uh, but these are six by six um, mats on six and a quarter square uh, uh, booklet or sorry tags up here so lots of room for photos tons and tons so over here we have this flip that comes up here and I'll probably do some double matting here I just don't know if I want one large or two small so I'm just kind of leaving it just like it is until I I figured out what pictures are going to go there. So in here, this was kind of a neat way to to um, use uh, which what is standard for uh, a 12 by 12 like a layout page, uh, and these elements would be too large for a mini album. Uh, but I was able to cut this out, add it to some tag board, and create a pocket, so we get to use this large element without having to lose our entire page. And again, we have a couple more booklets here and here cute stuff 
if you guys haven't seen this this paper, I shouldn't be breezing through it so quickly. Uh, but really, really fun stuff. So this is a great way to use. Now in Simple Stories, Simple Stories, this was not a, a 12 by 12. This was actually a 6 by 12 piece, so it's almost identical to what it is here because they did two large, long 6 by 12 pieces. And so this worked out perfect, so there wasn't any waste over on the other side either. Uh, so over here we have uh, my little interactive library pocket. I always love the, the library pockets, but when you're doing minis, it takes up half the page. So what I came up with was to turn this and make it interactive, and that way I get the whole look of the library pocket. I get to use my tag, but then I also get the back of the library pocket, and I still get to keep my 6x6 six six, um, like mini layout area. And so that was my answer to that. And again, yeah, I did this over a year ago. <laughs> and it's taken forever to get this pattern. And for all of you who have patiently waited for this pattern, I, I just, uh, I applaud you for your patience. And thank you for hanging in there. And I did want to tell you that the, the decorating videos doing all of this is included with the pattern on this one. Um, everything you see as it is, this book was actually done all on camera. Now there will be another version of it using another Marion Smith paper and it will be the steampunk. It'll be using the um, um, timekeeper. I'll be doing another version, decorating only series. Now this decorating part comes with the pattern, but that will be a separate decorating uh, video series that'll just show you decorating on how to do the steampunk version of it. So uh, you don't have to do the, the say cheese, you don't have to do the Disney version of this, but what is really nice is that it gives you all the dimensions that you need for your pattern paper and you actually get to see it all decorated as part of the 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 original tutorial so it doesn't require any additional um uh any additional decorating videos in order to just get the the pieces for the pattern paper so it's kind of all together uh so super cute stuff i don't know if i pulled this one out but this was really cute really cute paper and over here we have this adorable little mouse ears. Now this you could do out of any shape. Uh, and we're going to go and we're going to talk about how to do this and uh, about using different dies and just any old shape you want to use. And you can just turn it into a little holder, uh, a decorative element for your paper and also make it functional so it holds your booklets. Uh, you can also do it where it's uh, where kind of camouflages into the paper like I did with um, the Marion Smith paper uh, with the, the, the original one. Uh, so here's some more booklets and they just slide in there and over here we have a gatefold. We have the horizontal gatefold and this has magnetic closures and a little punched edge here. If you can see a little punched edge, a little scallop there. And again, this was uh, utilizing some of that 6 by 12 paper. And I was able to use almost every bit of it. And it really kind of continues and opens up so well. Uh, just real thrilled with that. We've got some uh, multicolor stripe back there. And over here, we have another um, kind of flip element. And this comes out to the left. And so you've got an area for photo here, maybe even some more decorations. We've got another one of the little mouse ear, um, glittered uh, mouse ears down there. A huge area here. Again, we made another little pocket. Uh, just using border strips. Um, this isn't, it doesn't even have to, uh, require making a pocket is just very simple uh, again this depends on your paper but an awful lot of papers have border strips in them or you could just use your scraps and create uh, pockets down at the bottom a couple more booklets that just slide in there so we still retain our large area for our photo and I would probably put three and a half by five pieces here so that we could still enjoy the paper all the way around uh, it doesn't cover up our whole space, you know, we, we love the paper, so we want to see at least a little bit of it. Um, so you still have this large area here, you've got uh, more area here, and you still have a pretty little um, decorative strip down here. 
So here's another one of the interactive library pockets. And down here I added another border strip and there's a tiny little pocket in here for like little ticket stubs and whatnot. And again, here is just one large area. So you can use this as like a little layout area. You could put four little kind of Instagrams here and something in the center or one big picture, a couple, you know, just kind of leave it open so that you can get creative once you're putting your pictures in there and in here of course we have another one of the um, tags and on the back you can add a little photo a little journaling and then on the top here we have this adorable star paper and it's kind of grunged up it's super cute stuff it's kind of distressed it's really really cute stuff uh, so on this next page again so we have another pocket here and we've just it just like on page one we use this one in a vertical fashion and down here we've got it down here as a horizontal and um, whoops there we go. And then I was able to get two more book booklets in here. Of course, you know, these will hold the full uh, four by sixes. And then you still have your mat back here. And you can still fit even more little bits and ephemera into this pocket if you like. And over here we have another gatefold, except for this one is a vertical one. And again, this was cut out of the paper. Uh, we've got some chipboard here. Uh, and I just cut this out of one of the border strips. Uh, and I thought it would make a really great closure. So almost this entire book was just made out of no extra embellishments. I just used the paper as the embellishment. And that is by far the most affordable way to go, uh, is using your paper and turning it into embellishments. So that was just added to some chipboard. And you can see on here that it was magnet closure. Again, I used that same uh, skinny scallop and took this piece and kind of separated it on both sides. So it tied together. And out of the top of this one, we have this uh, yellow and white diagonal. And then on here, we have uh, my triple flip. So if you recall, uh, I, I was trying to find um, an answer to um, a better way for me for doing a waterfall. And my problem with the waterfall is that I always felt like the pieces were so so small uh, in order to get enough of them on there to really kind of create the effect. And that by the time that you got to the end of it, you didn't have any page left, you know, that it was just a skinny little area when you were done. And so my answer to that was what I call my triple flip. And so with this one, and this little camera was just cut out of um, uh, one of the cut aparts. Uh, and I thought it would make a great element. And uh, so this one, you just lift it up. And as you lift it up, it also kind of starts to pull the next page up. And as you can see, these actually get larger. They don't stay the si same size. So they get larger as you go and you have the front and back. And then when you get to the end, you have you still have your full six by six again. So you really don't have to get those super tiny pictures. Uh, you still have tons of room on there. And so I just love the triple flip. And over here, again, we have another one of the interactive library pockets and a little pocket back here, large area to just kind of treat like a mini layout. And we have uh, the little um, the little tag so that you can utilize those um, three by four cut aparts that are so, so popular in just about every paper line now. And here we have uh, this cute little ticket stubs, real cute paper. And then in the back, this is the same. This is cut out of the PAL paper uh, and uh, reinforced. And uh, this was done the same way as the Mickey that was kind of coming in from the side. And so we still get to enjoy the whole piece here. We have enough room for a large photo. And we have our booklets and uh, tons and tons of real estate for our photos and journaling and telling our whole story. And then when we get to the back here, I just added another one of these um, uh, tags uh, and a pocket. And so that wraps up my uh, Mickey Mouse version, Simple Stories Say Cheese version of Eclectic One. And if you guys are interested in making this with me, um, I will have this pattern with all of its videos ready for you. 
um, by the end of next week. So uh, if you want to craft along, uh, go check out my Etsy store. And thanks so much for, for watching, guys. See you later.